Hey guys, today's video is this drugstore um, mommy look, I guess you could say. It's this type of makeup I go to for um, days where I just have errands to run with my son and I'm just kind of all over the place and I'm going to be seeing people be out in public and I just want to look really presentable. This is the type of look I go for. It's really quick and easy. All the products I use are drugstore, so very affordable. Yeah, so if you want to see what I do as a mom when I want to look really put together and look my best and feel confident, then keep watching. So to start off, if you need a primer, go ahead and grab one. The drugstore is coming out with tons of different kinds. I know Rimmel has one, L'Oreal, CoverGirl, I think they have one. Um, this Maybelline Baby Skin is one of my new favorites. It, uh, it's a pore minimizer, pore eraser. Cheaper brands are starting to come out with primers, which they didn't really have before, so that's really good. I'm not going to use one today because I kind of want to minimize products. I don't use them every day. I use a primer if I need my makeup to last like 12 hours or something, but just day-to-day -day mom life, I don't wear a primer. And also day-to-day, -day, I don't go reach for foundation every day. I usually reach for tinted moisturizers or BB cream, CC creams. Since last summer, I've really been into this Garnier BB cream. This is the regular, oh, this is the combination to oily skin one. I really love this. So depending on the type of coverage you need, just grab, um, you can use foundation every day. That's awesome. I just don't um, need it every day. So I go for lighter coverage stuff when I do want to wear makeup. And this new product is Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights. It's a face illuminator. I've never used it before. And I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, shoot. And it just exploded all over. Wasted a bunch of product. Dang it. So I'm going to add a little bit of this. Just wipe it off into my... BB cream. So just the back of my hand, I'm going to mix it together. I'm just adding a little bit because I've never used it before. I don't know how illuminated it's going to make me. I just want to try it out. So be careful when you open these. They kind of go all over the place, or at least mine did. And this one's in the shade Bare Light. So I'm just mixing that in the back of my hand with my BB cream just to kind of give it a glow because this um, Garnier BB cream was kind of a matte finish, or it's kind of like a yeah, it's pretty matte on me. The shade is a little dark right now for me, but I'm going to make it work. So I'm just buffing that all over my skin. I'm using my Sigma brush just because I have it, but this one I use all the time. It's the e.l.f. powder brush. It's a flat top, kind of similar to this, if you can see that. It works really well. Um, it's pretty dirty. I used it for powder yesterday, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the Sigma brush. I take it over my eyes as well. It makes it so I don't need to add like a concealer or anything to my lids after. So adding that illuminator, I can see a difference because I wear this, that, that BB cream often, and it's got a nice little glow to it that I didn't have without it, so I like that. We'll see how if it makes me oily or anything throughout the day. Hopefully it doesn't. That again is the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights. So far, so good on that. I'm going with CoverGirl True Blend. This is their Fix Stick. It's just a concealer crown. And I'm just going to take it to take it on my blemishes. I've been breaking out a lot lately, so that's a bummer, but what concealer is for. So make sure this matches, um, make sure the concealer that you cover blemishes with matches you perfectly or else it will do the complete opposite of what you're wanting it to do. So I just take that over breakouts around my nose where it's a little red and that's about it. And I'm taking Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is in the shade light, so it's too light for me, but that's what I'm going for. So I just work this right under my eyes. I'm just going to push that in with my finger. It's just brightening up underneath, making me look a little more fresh and awake. If I'm in a hurry, I skip this step, but I really like 
brightening up certain areas. Like I also take a little right through my forehead, down my nose to try and slim it a little bit. It really, my makeup routine really just depends on the amount of time I have. It's different every day. And this whole routine will take me about 15 minutes, so. And then I take a little right here. I'm just going to blend out the edges of it, make sure there's no harsh lines of like a light concealer. Now I'm going to set it with my powder. I'm taking the Dream, Dream Wonder Powder by Maybelline. Just taking that mainly down the parts of my face where I start to get oily or where my foundation breaks up. Equal Tools Sheer Finish Kabuki. I really like this brush. So I look really washed out right now. As you can see, it's just like a flat, boring face. I'm going to change that up with my NYC Smooth Skin and a Real Techniques brush. I'm not trying to contour because it's just like daytime makeup just to help me look presentable. So I'm not really contouring. I'm just bronzing up the face. I don't like to skip this step just because I it slims down my face a lot. Um, if you play with bronzer you'll start to notice a big difference from when you use it and when you don't. Take a little bit and real quick on the sides of my nose. Nothing um, nothing too precise. I don't want any harsh, harsh lines or like visible contour. I just want soft blended color. I'm actually going to use this Sonia Kashuk blush from Target in the shade Flamingo. Same brush as my bronzer. I'm just going to add that right above where my bronzer went. So bronzer was down here, blush is just right above. Blending it into the bronzer too. I'm going to go in with this highlighter. This is actually a baked bronzer by Hard Candy, but it's kind of a champagne -y gold color. It's called Tiki. I'm taking that on a small stipple brush from e.l.f. And that's just going right on my cheekbones above where my blush is. Just to help bring those out. Give some more glow to the skin. Okay, so that is the skin all finished. There's a lot more um, life in it now than there was when I just had the BB cream and concealer on. So I definitely recommend playing with bronzers and blushes to kind of um, finish off the skin. Eyebrows. Using my e.l.f. brow kit. This is the dark shade. Ooh, this mirror is tiny. So I'm just filling them in lightly. I like to keep them pretty soft and natural for the day, so that's about all I do. And I take this as a Sonia Kashuk brow gel, just to help my brows stay in place. So they're not perfect, but I don't mind on days like this. I just want some definition. I don't want like a harsh, perfect, bold brow. I just want them filled in a little bit. Now I'm going to move on to the eyes. I'm going back into my Sunny bronzer and just a big fluffy eyeshadow brush. I'm just putting that through my crease. One thing I did forget to do is I, whoa, I like to take my highlighting concealer and just a little bit right under my eyebrow. So it kind of looks with the concealer up there and then the bronzer through the crease, it kind of makes it look like I have like an eyeshadow look on. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's so, so natural, so easy because you already are using those products anyway on your face. So just throw the concealer up there, bronzer through the crease, and you're good to go. Uh, I like to add a little wing, um, not, you don't need to, you can totally just add mascara, be done. Uh, this is just on days where I know I'm going to be running errands in front of people, seeing people, and so I want kind of a little bit more than just the bare minimum. So 
I'm going to add this wing. Totally skip this if you want. This is uh, L'Oreal Linear Intense. And I do a wing, I start my liner at the middle of my eye and do the wing there. So it's kind of a tiny, easy little, little um, addition. When you have the full on wing liner all the way from the inner corner all the way out, that's kind of when it is taken to the next level for me, like makeup wise. So I just stick with this little easy daytime, barely there wing that kind of adds a flattering look to the eye without looking like you... Um, we're intending to have a full face of makeup that day. It looks kind of weird right now because I don't have mascara on, but when mascara is there, you can't see where the liner stops and starts. So it's a really natural way to wear a winged line. I love it. So you can skip that again, you can even skip this next step if you want, but I love this. I do this pretty often. Um, this is just a nude pencil liner going on my waterline. So this is the nude pencil by Rimmel. I just run that on my waterline. I don't know if you can tell a difference. I just feel like it makes your eyes look a lot more fresh and healthy. It takes away kind of the pink fleshy color of the actual waterline, like you can see right here, and it just helps it look more neutral. Um, it even enlarges the eye a little bit, like how people usually put white there to make the eye look bigger. White looks too harsh, too unnatural, because nobody has a white waterline. So this is more of a natural way to make the eye seem a little bigger, fresher, more awake, healthier. So love this on the waterline. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. This is a Revlon lash curler. I'm going to use two different mascaras today. If you mix mascaras, I feel like you can build volume better that way because um, the different formulas have to work together. I don't know. I could totally be wrong. I just like the way different formulas of mascara work together. Most formulas. So this is L'Oreal Voluminous the waterproof one. Waterproof helps hold curls so that's why I take the waterproof first so it's the one it's the mascara that's like directly on my lashes so I'm taking Jordana and just while while the first mascara is still wet add your second because if you wait for it to dry that's when it starts to get clumpy at least that's what I've noticed this, as soon as Mascara is dry and you try to add more, it just gets crazy clumpy. On me, at least. So a little bit on the bottom as well. Sometimes there's days where I know I have no time to do any of this. And on days like that, I just grab mascara. I put it on in the car, or I throw it on real quick, just because that... It's the one makeup product that I feel like um, makes the biggest difference for me. Like without mascara, it looks like I literally just rolled out of bed. But the second I put mascara on, and I just feel a little bit more um, confident that people aren't staring at me looking like I'm thinking I'm so tired or whatever. So mascara is kind of my go-to as a mom. If I had to wear one product only that day, it would be mascara. So that is the eyes all done. It was really quick and easy. Obviously, it's going to take longer for me to do it today because I'm explaining everything, talking way too much. Most days, I just throw on a chapstick. This is, I love these EOS, um, these EOS lip balms. But just for the video, I'm going to use this Maybelline The Elixir. Okay. This is in the shade Caramel Infused. These feel really good. So really natural lip, but my new favorite drugstore lip product at the moment are these Revel Cov what? 
Revlon Color Burst Matte Balms. They are amazing. Um, super creamy and comfortable to wear. Not like a matte lipstick that leaves your lips flaky and dry. These are so good. So check those out. But day to day, this is what I would do. If I wanted to be fun that day, I would add a cool color. But this is my finished mom drugstore mommy look. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.